I have been trying to get this video started for like 10 minutes and he won't lie, it's a lie! I'm gonna be exposing every single influencer you know in this video. I have a list of questions you guys asked about how influencers really are off camera, so I'm gonna answer them for you. You guys asked all of these questions on Instagram, so make sure that you're following me over there so that next time I ask questions for a video, you can be a part of the video. I think one of the most frequent questions was, have I ever paid for followers? And the answer for that is no, but I think some people do. I'm not completely sure, okay? I know I didn't. I just got all my followers from my husband with 18 million followers on TikTok. That's how I got my followers, if I'm being honest. Guys, this video is about honesty because honesty is key, so I'm gonna be as straightforward with you all as I possibly can. Do you ever take a picture from a couple of weeks ago and post it saying that you took it today? I don't do that. I take pictures, I forget about them for a couple of weeks, and then I post them, but I'm not like, oh, like, look at what I did today from like three weeks ago. I don't really feel the need to. I do know some influencers who do do this though, and like my sister-in-law actually does it, and I think it is a little bit safer than like posting in real time, which I feel like most of my content I do take and post later unintentionally. For example, when my sister-in-law was on her trip to New York, she waited until she had like left New York completely so that people wouldn't like know where she was at and stuff. Especially when you're saying branded trips, I do like to kind of hold off because like when I'm like posting what hotel I'm at and stuff, like that's just not safe. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get like bombarded by people. It's more of just the creeps, you know, that I'm scared of. So I guess in a way I do do that, but I don't lie and say like, oh, look at what I did today. I usually am honest and I'm like, this is what I did a couple days ago. Do y'all plan what to do and say in the videos? It depends. There are quite a few videos that are scripted. For example, on the LOL Club channel, those whole videos are pretty much planned out. Like we know what we're gonna do. We know who's gonna be doing the intro. We know if this is gonna be said. Those are like scripted. And a lot of times funny stuff just happens and those aren't planned. A lot of times you just catch the funny stuff when the camera's rolling. Do you ever get tired of posting in the notifications. So I actually have my notifications turned off on every single app just because my phone would be going crazy if I had every comment, every like, every DM coming through my phone. I don't get tired of the notifications. Posting though does. I don't want to be like, oh, it's so, it's so exhausting because it's not. Like I have the easiest job in the world and I'm aware of that. It's just having to remember to like take your phone out and like video everything is kind of hard. Like when I'm like with my family and stuff, I I want to be present. I don't Snapchat especially because I try to take as many Snapchats a day as possible. And then I just feel like I'm constantly on my phone just like ignoring people and I don't want to do that. So in that aspect, I don't like it. I don't like having to like remember to take a hundred Snapchats a day and like take like obnoxiously have my phone out everywhere I go. But I also know that's my job. So <laughs> I kind of have to do that sometimes. Do you actually use the PR stuff you get? Yes, I do. So I actually have like bins full of product and I get so much that there's no way in heck I could ever go through it all before it expires. So I do give a lot of it away to just like my family and friends and stuff. A lot of the products I get, I really love and I use and a lot of them I've repurchased because I like them so much. How old were you when you first started? So I started doing social media on my 16th birthday. That was when the video of Cash and I like laying together had gotten leaked and everyone figured out he had a girlfriend. So then he was like, well, you know what? We're just gonna make you a TikTok. And this happened on my birthday and I was like, okay. And so I started doing it on my 16th birthday. Do you guys act different off camera? I don't want to be like, oh, no, not completely different. Like, I will say that we are very similar to how we are on camera, but our on camera personality is just like more in your face almost. Like, we talk louder. We are like kind of in your face, but we want to be entertaining, you know? Like, no one cares to watch a video where you're just like, good morning, you guys. Today, uh, that's kind of boring. I would say that you're kind of, we're kind of in your face, a little more in your face than like in real life. Do you feel embarrassed when you're in a store and talking to a camera? I do. I don't, I feel silly walking around with a little camera. I look like I'm a chronically online teenager. That's what I look like. I don't look like someone who's just trying to like make a video. Like I'm like, it's like someone that's just like obsessed with their phone is what I feel like I look like. And that's more embarrassing to me is that I'm like, I'm not obsessed with my phone like this, I promise. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing. It's more embarrassing when we're like causing a scene though when like attention is being drawn to us for whatever we're doing for a video, that's a little more embarrassing. Do you tell each other the secrets that you say on the podcast before you start the podcast and fake a reaction? No, actually, and it drives me insane. All week, the boys will be like, oh, we got something good to talk about. We got something good to tell you on the podcast. And I'm like, what? What, what? Like, what is it? What is it? And then they're like, oh, you're gonna have to wait. Like, we have to get your reaction. Early, there was one time Maverick was like, hey, I got something big to tell you. I got something huge. You're gonna go crazy. And I was like, okay, tell me. And he was like, you're not gonna find out for another four days until we shoot the podcast again. And I was like, 
thanks for telling me. So we definitely don't do that. And it bothers me because I wish I could just do that, but no one else wants to. Do you have to be very extroverted to be an influencer? When I was younger, I was very loud and like all over the place. And I feel like I was a chaotic kid. And then once I got into like middle school, high school, I like withdrew, especially high school. That was another question is how were you in high school? Very quiet. I feel like I didn't talk much, especially in class. I was on the softball team. So I had friends in class. I feel like I was pretty quiet. I don't, when I started doing social media, it was very out of my comfort zone, especially because I knew being in public school that all of the kids I went to school with were gonna see these silly little videos. I was scared I was gonna get made fun of at school and I did, but I'm glad I stuck with it. There was a lot of times I was like, I'm done, I'm not doing this because I was getting made fun of at school and Cash was like, you're not, you're not gonna stop doing social, you're not doing that. And I was like, okay. And I'm very glad I stuck to it because I love it now. Do you really have no mess in your house? No, I do. Y'all should see my floor right here. There's a lot going on right here. Me personally, I'm not one of those influencers who does like a clean with me and like like refresh my house. One, because that's not the content I make and two, that's not my life. I am a pretty clean person. I tidy my house up every day. I make sure that stuff is picked up and put away. I'm not like those influencers that are like crazy clean with it, you know? Like my house is just like put together pretty much is what I'm trying to say, I guess. But it does get messy. Everyone's house gets messy. If you're living in a space, it's gonna get messy. Someone asked, is your income livable without any other job? I mean, yeah, there are some influencers we have talked to with over a million followers who have not made a single penny from social media because they don't don't know how. So you kind of have to know like how to do it for it to be livable income. But if you do, it is very steady money. Do you get noticed in public a lot? I only ever like people only knew who I was if I was with cash because he was like a familiar like face, you know, like he was big on musically early TikTok, like stuff like that. So people knew who he was and I really never got like noticed on my own. There was a handful of times where people knew who I was like by myself and stuff. However, when we started the podcast, it was like way more. Like we started the podcast like six months ago and I feel like so many more people like recognize our face now, which is so crazy. Like it's so weird to me. Like I'll be like out in public and I'm like, you know who I am? Like I do not feel like people should know who I am. Do you actually copy other people? I mean, yeah, because that's what social media is. You post videos for other people to see and people are gonna get inspired people are gonna straight up copy videos that's a part of it there have been so 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 many times people have copied our videos is there a room in your house where it's just miscellaneous stuff that's just there yeah so we have a closet under our staircase i have like a huge bin full of props i have another huge bin full of costumes i have another bin just full of random crap because we get so many props for like random videos and a lot of times we don't just want to throw it away. Oh my gosh, my attic, I have so many seasonal props and it's like, I don't like clutter. So that's kind of hard for me. I try to keep it as organized as possible, but there's just so much. And every single week I'm buying more junk for videos. And I do list a lot of it. If I feel like it's going to be of value to somebody else, I will like put it on Facebook market and someone will come take it. What influencer is your least favorite? I don't feel like I know enough influencers to like have an opinion on that. We live in Texas and there is nothing here. There is no influencer events or like things that at least I get invited to. I know other people in Dallas that get invited to this stuff and I'm like, how do y'all get invited? Like, I don't know where people are getting these invites and these contacts and I'm severely jealous because I personally love going to events and like meeting people and stuff. There's not a whole lot of that for me in Dallas. I feel like most of that stuff is in LA, which is where a lot of influencers are. I still just, I feel like I don't have an opinion on like my least favorite influencer. I mean, I have definitely met some people that I'm like, okay, I have no interest in getting to know you or being friends with you. But that doesn't mean that they're my least favorite influencer. It's just like, we're not gonna be friends, you know? Like, do you ever get tired of making videos? I can't complain. Like I said earlier, I have the easiest job. That's also a job. Like, it's not like, there are some nights I wake up and I'm just like, man, like I really don't wanna film the podcast or film the club videos. You know, you have to, but I'm also every day, I am very, I literally like acknowledge how lucky I am that this is my life. And like, this is what I get to do. So it's like, sometimes you don't want to, but then I'm also like, I don't have the option to not want to when I just get to do this all the time. Like I have to. I Okay, this is like not a video I was making at all, but someone asked, do you read books? And the answer is yeah. And I feel like that's something that not a lot of people know about me, but I'm a book girl. Like, literally, I am on book talk, book Instagram, book tube. Like I literally watch videos of like book recommendations and stuff, especially because I only read clean books. Like I'm not gonna read like books with like spice in them. I watch a lot of clean book recommendations, like closed door book recommendations and stuff so that like I don't get that stuff. So I spend a lot of time just watching book recommendations 
recommendations, but I love, love to read. Like if I could just sit in my bed and read all day, I would be so happy. Reading is so fun to me. I feel like that's not something a lot of people know about me. Unless you're subscribed to me on Snapchat. Do you guys actually wake up early? We were in such a good routine. There was a point where Cash and I were waking up at seven. I know seven is like a normal time to wake up, but you have to keep in mind that we make our own schedule. Like we can get up when we want. We can go to bed when we want. We can leave when we want. We're not like tied down to like a nine to five. So we try to get up, go to the gym, get back, get like ready. I like to shower and like do my makeup and get ready for the day. And then we start like filming our videos for the day. Last six months, it's been the podcast and the club videos that we've been working on. So we try to like have a really good routine and prioritize waking up, going to the gym and getting ready and like just having a structured like schedule. Because if not, then we will become lazy. But Thanksgiving threw us off so hard. We were going to bed early, waking up early. Like we were on a good schedule. And then we went to Thanksgiving and we would stay up until 2 a.m. talking to our family and we just like got on a really bad schedule. So we have been trying to fix that and now it Christmas just passed because we're gonna go to Oklahoma and do Christmas with Cash's family and stuff. So once we're back from there, we're gonna like really get back into our schedule. Does TikTok slash YouTube pay you? Fun fact, TikTok is the worst paying app for their creators. I feel like that's a known fact. Like it's, I know a lot of people have talked about that, but TikTok does not pay very well. People think that like if you get a video with like a million views, you get all this money and it's not like crazy. If you post a video over one minute, you will make more money. But posting one minute videos are like hard, especially for people like us who do short form content like strictly, like we follow trends and stuff like that. So TikTok is not a reliable source of income for us. YouTube does pay. And I feel like people know that, like that's why you see ads and videos. And so you ever not want to post videos, but you have to. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of times where I'm like, oh, like I need to post some TikToks, but I can't find any videos to make. And I'm just like, like, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to think about it <laughs> because especially on TikTok, so many trends and so many audios are so like raunchy and stuff. It's hard to like come up with like videos that are clean too, because that's not like, I'm not going to go follow trends that are dirty, you know? So it's kind of hard. I'm going to be honest. I am not a very creative person. I feel like I'm not very original. I wish I was like one of those people who was like naturally just like so funny and just made everyone laugh, but I'm not. And I can acknowledge that when I'm struggling to come up with video ideas, I'm just like, I don't want to post anymore. That's like really it. I do enjoy like doing it though. Like this is fun to me. Somebody asked, who do you want to do a collab with? I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like there's anybody that I'm dying to make videos with. And I feel like it's because I am married to somebody who makes videos. I live with somebody else who makes videos. I make videos with Harper all the time. Like I feel like I have like a video creating community around me. So I don't feel the need to go fly to a different state to like collab with somebody because I'm constantly just making videos with everyone here. And I feel like collabs are like really popular for people who don't have that. So like, I don't feel like I need to go make videos with someone else, but if I am with people, I will make videos with them because it's like, why not? I know people love to see other creators come together. And so if anybody wanted to, I would be more than happy. To. I personally don't care to like travel to go like simply just collab, but I have invited people down to Texas to come and like collab with us if they wanted to. And like we've had people come on our podcast and stuff and like that's collabing. I like when people want to come to us, we have no problem. Like we have an extra guest bedroom. We have plenty of space here. So if anybody like wants to, we are happy to have them like come here. But I personally, probably won't fly out somewhere just to you know make videos with someone when I have so many people around me I can make videos with how do you always look so happy well we're pretty happy people I would say most like <laughs> at least my group is like I mean we are pretty happy like on the daily you know like we're not just like depressed walking around there are some people who it is so impressive how they can like turn their camera personality on like that like it's like they'll be so quiet so shy like some people are like actually sad and then the second the camera comes on they're like hi guys welcome back and you would think that they're the happiest person in the world it is pretty easy to just like turn a camera on smile and then like, you know, turn the camera off and be done. I mean, we're honestly pretty happy people. Like this isn't like fake for us. That's all the questions I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching and asking questions. I will see y'all next time. Bye.